Hopefully their presentation will be pretty soon. Recapping the men's result. So what do you think, Joe, as we head towards the Olympics? I mean, would you would you like to get a good jogging? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just looked absolutely brilliant today and he's got the fast times but he's also got the ability to finish fast in a championship type race. So yeah, really excited to see how he goes in Tokyo. I mean, obviously the conditions in Rio were tough. Um, you know, we've seen him running marathons all around the world. Do you think that, you know, for others, you know, they obviously looked at what happened in Doha. The cream still sort of rose to the top pretty much in Doha as well. There was some who, for whom it didn't work yeah. out. Um, but you'd expect the conditions not to be something which Kipchoge would be too worried about. Yeah, and he's so well prepared, um, put so much into his preparation and thought processes behind the, you know, the nutrition, the hydration, and I think if anyone can get performances right in tough conditions, it's definitely him with all the science and everything that he puts into them. <laughs> And given in mind, you know, we obviously this, we shouldn't forget, was meant to be the Hamburg Marathon, so this will be a big story uh, uh, in Germany. Uh, yeah. Steinworth's performance, and of course the heritage of a family, a mum. Yeah. Uh, everybody knows uh, Katrina Dora, and you know, that's something which I'm sure she's going to get lots and lots of headlines over yeah. the coming days. And her mum and dad and herself should be so proud, and like you say, the delay of a week that these athletes all had, the organisers did a brilliant job, but they must have been getting towards their taper and then thinking, right, do we need to just plug in a bit more hard training to compensate for the delay of another week? And, you know, they've come out on the <coughs> brilliantly today, and again, we say the organisers to not let the athletes down and still make sure this event goes ahead, which is left this Olympic dream a possibility for so many today, so that's absolutely wonderful. We have had an interview with uh, with our winner, and I'd love, though, to just ask the question. Katarina Steinrock. Congratulations to a really great race. Uh, actually, it was the mission for the Olympic Games. Today it was even more, it was the victory. Uh, how is that feeling? Oh, it's amazing. I can't realize in the moment. I'm totally finished, but uh, I'm so happy. Uh, it was a very tough race, but we were good too, a long time. And uh, my pacemaker, Simon and Stefan, they took a very, very good job, and uh, in the last six kilometers, I feel my legs, I was totally finished, and I just was thinking, run, 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 it's just one more uh, round, and uh, yes, and then uh, the guys cried me uh, to the finish line, uh, that I got this, this magical line from under 2 to 226, and uh, it's amazing and uh, yeah for me it was also to show that i yeah that i one of the women for germany for tokyo and uh, i'm so happy with this time and yeah i think my family and my coach we did a very great job you just had a longer phone call with your mother i i think what did you tell her uh, I just told her about the last kilometers and that I'm totally happy and that we do everything right in the last month, uh, also in the last year. It was a very tough year, a lot of races was cancelled, also three marathon training or three marathon was cancelled, I was training for and that is very hard and now today I stay here, I run a personal best, I did a great job and now I'm totally happy and I'm looking forward to my holiday <laughs> and for Tokyo. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, what, what is more precious, the victory today, the personal best or the ticket to Tokyo? I think it's, it's everything of them. 
but uh, it's an amazing feeling to uh, win such a such a great uh, race uh, together with Edward Kipchoge. It's so amazing when he was running uh, beside us and he he passed us and I say thought, oh God, this guy he's running so easy. How 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 does he do it? It's, it's so great and uh, yeah, the victory is uh, my part of the best and. Yeah, also my ticket for Tokyo. Uh, I had it already, but I had to show that I'm one of the girls and fine. You really proved it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day and congratulations again. Thank you. Well, there's a very happy woman and that, so she should be. But of course, the question is left hanging. Why did she wear what <laughs> she was wearing? And does she think she can go faster next time? Anyway, that doesn't matter for now. Uh, she wore exactly the right kit that she needed to wear on the day and did what she needed to do. Two hours, 25 minutes and 59 seconds, Katharina Steinluck celebrating uh, with her mum. Uh, we've mentioned a couple of times as uh, already an Olympic medalist herself. And we'll be so pleased that uh, it looks as though Steinrock will have done enough to guarantee her selection, as indeed you would think Sarah Moreira has done for Portugal. Schoenborn and Hottenrott, the two other German athletes, third and fourth. And then this wonderful story of here in Belgium. There'll be, uh, there'll be requests to appear on TV shows everywhere for Mika Goris. Everybody loves this sort of story. Somebody who comes to the sport late, in her mid-30s, and then suddenly finds... She's got an ability, she's got a talent, and starts producing performances of a world-class nature. Wins the National Cross Country Championships um, in 2021, and is now in her first marathon. It looks as though she's done enough to get selected. Yeah, that was a lovely interview by Katarina, wasn't it? And seeing the joy that she had and the sprint that she gave at the end just to get under that 226 barrier. Absolutely brilliant. And, you know, so lovely that she's already chatted to our family. So yeah, a yeah. yeah, few good stories in the men's race as well. Everybody will talk about it. Elliot Kimchogi, obviously. It'd be interesting to see how if Steve Kimmitage has done enough. And he should get the nod there. And then for the likes of Poland, Jabosi, Davinsky. Good runs from those two guys. So this is who everybody will be talking about. Still on top of his game, still the best in the world of the evidence of what we've seen today. The fastest man in 2021. And back to winning ways, Elliot Kipchoge, after... His disappointment is in the place in London, so he's dealing with ear problems, with a hip problem as well. But this, I don't think, obviously, I think Elliot knew today was within him because his team would not have done to all of this effort to cut his race off. Uh, it was a race with all of the athletes, but it was a death for the rest of Elliot Kipchoge. To show that he's back. He's the man to be reckoned with when we head to the Olympic Games in July to August. I think it just served to make him even more inspirational. To you know, the performance you're not so pleased with, and then be able to bounce back. To that one man is like that.
we'll stay with this uh, to tighten things up. Hope you've enjoyed uh, coverage of this very, very special marathon event. And probably it was the breeze, the wind starting to pick up. They couldn't have found a better day, really, weather wise. And this man here produced a big performance as well. Not going to get him into the Kenyan team. That's going to be an interesting one, actually, isn't it? The, uh, the Kenyan selection, because as I said, they had a win for uh, three last year and then added uh, Kichumba this year. Um, so they still have a decision to make. Kibuta was making the run so well. Kichumba, who came second in London. Those three plus Kipchoge. Meant to be three from four. I have a funny feeling the other three will be the right one. What's the guys? Yeah. Well, it's tricky, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Truly world class and medal potential, and, and find it tricky to get in your national team. Mm. Just a minute or so away from the uh, women's ceremony. See that? Before we say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you very much. I did. Um, I've only done a couple of marathons. Mostly done tracks. I did New York in 2011. Eleven, that was the last one. Yeah. 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 Yeah